One week after I purchased the budget model of the brand new MacBook Pro 15 inch 2018, what do I think? Eh? What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So up front, I don't really game, I don't build programs, nor do I like carrying around tech that is a fashion statement. I make family videos, and I make YouTube videos, and I look to invest in gear that makes my process better, faster, more efficient, and just, you know, more enjoyable. I think that's an aspect we don't see enough of, is that your process is enjoyable. I'm not an Apple fanboy by any stretch of the imagination. I've even tried moving my workflow back to Windows a couple of times, but I stick with Mac for one reason in particular. I really like Final Cut Pro X, but the, the ecosystem of the Mac in general is something that I enjoy much more than I enjoy with Windows. So just so that everybody's aware, the driving factor of this video is an online content creator looking for something better than a 2015 13 inch MacBook Pro. I've now used the 2018 MacBook Pro for three full video production cycles and a live stream test. So I've got some definite opinions and you know, I've actually decided whether I'm even gonna keep this. Bottom line up front, this is an awesome piece of tech. And again, I swear I'm not a fanboy. The individual components honestly aren't that great for the price, but I consider things like the MacBook to be greater than the sum of its parts. So again, I do have a much cheaper Dell laptop that I use for live streaming, and it has almost the exact same specs, lesser processor, but greater graphics card, and I just don't like using it as much. But what does that really mean? This, you know, wishy-washy stuff doesn't really help you or me when it comes to making decisions about the kind of equipment we're gonna use. So let's talk about the specific of what I really like and some of the specific things that I don't really like and you know at the end of the video we'll discuss whether I'm gonna keep this at the end of this tiny little experiment I guess it is <laughs> first off let's talk about the things I like unpopular opinion I like the keyboard there I said it I know it's a weird thing to like have to bring up or justify but I really enjoy typing on this keyboard it doesn't have that super satisfying click 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 of a mechanical keyboard but typing on it's like like typing on a cloud or something it's just oddly enough it's really satisfying satisfying. Another thing I like is the speaker system. My 13-inch MacBook Pro sounded okay. It wasn't something I really thought of that I needed or wanted out of a laptop. You know, I rarely get speakers. But once you hear the built-in speakers, they, I'm shocked at how good they sound. Now, I'm not an audiophile, so so long as it has a little bit of bass, that's good enough for me and I like how they sound. Apple both announced and released a brand new refresh to their super popular MacBook Pro line. Next up, this is gonna be a positive and a negative. So we mentioned in the previous video, USB-C connections, that, you know, that's it. On the positive side, what I like with USB-C is that you can legitimately power a device with USB-C. So that means any of the four ports can work with a power cord. Something that would frustrate me on my last MacBook is you're stuck to one side with the charging. So your desk or your workspace has to be set up to accommodate that power cord. And that might seem like a small thing to complain about, but it, it would come up as an issue more often than you'd think. And I just like being able to use whatever port I want for that. Now, a positive that I feel like I should mention, but it's not a personal positive, is the speed. I do really like how fast the MacBook 2018 is. It's cut my render time for videos more than half. It would take me about 24 to 27 minutes to render a 4K video on my 13 inch MacBook, but this guy does the same thing in about six and a half to seven minutes. I mean, but that shouldn't be surprising. It should be faster for the price. So I say this because I feel like somebody's gonna wanna hear this, but I'm pretty meh about it because it, it's fast, but it should be fast for the observe. I could buy a whole bunch of stuff for the price of this. I could buy a whole YouTube video production studio for the price of this laptop, so it should be fast. Okay, so that's a lot of love and a meh. So let's talk about the duds after talking about the, uh, the great uds? The, the good uds. Let's talk about the good uds. As we mentioned in the positives, but I'm gonna mention it again right up front on the negatives, the USB-C. Now, I do like the USB-C. Cue the comments below on how much I hate USB-C, but why, why, why would you get rid of the SD card slot? Seriously, as somebody that is constantly moving footage from camera to computer to hard drive to computer to camera across several devices and platforms, having to use a dongle is such a pain in the butt. Don't turn the SD card slot into the headphone jack of the computer world. Hashtag bring back the SD card slot. There, there are, that's, that is the official everyday dad stance on the SD card slot. Don't turn it in to the cell phone headphone phone jack, Apple. Something else that I don't like, and this isn't specific to the 2018 model, but I really don't like this touch bar. I don't use the additional functionality of it 
at all, and I will never agree with taking away physical buttons. So all tech glitches at some point, right? And since so many key functions are tied to the escape key, and it can now bug out and not work at all. So even if you just give me a single physical escape key, I would mostly, I would mostly, I, I like to complain about stuff, but I would mostly stop complaining about it. Here's another double duty issue where it was good and it was bad, and we talked about the speed. I'm perfectly fine with the rendering speed, but I have had some problems streaming through the MacBook Pro. I run a weekly live stream, and I like having that live stream run at 1080p, 60 frames per second. The specs of this MacBook should be able to easily handle this. i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, okay-ish video card, and my Dell 7577 crushes 1080p at 60 frames per second. But this doesn't. The encoder constantly gets overloaded and it just can't keep up. It can do 1080p at 30 frames per second, but my three-year-old 13-inch MacBook can do that. I have seen videos and other people talking about the throttling issue where these new MacBooks slow way down when they start to heat up, and I don't know if that's what's causing this. Remember, I'm not a computer guy, but I am super disappointed about the live stream performance. It, you know, for what you're paying, it should just work. As an online content creator, I only really care about how this can make my video workflow better. And additionally, as a Final Cut Pro user, I'm really stuck with the MacBook, so I really, really want this laptop to work out. I say that because I'm not totally unbiased, and I do want it to work and, you know, justify my purchase. However, comma, I am not going to be keeping this computer. I like it, and I mostly like what it does, but it fails me in two very important aspects, live streaming and the price. For this price, I shouldn't have to worry about simple stuff like live streaming working. If a Dell can do it for a quarter of the price, a MacBook should be able to do it for that. And in all fairness, again, this is the lowest end of the MacBook Pro 15 inch 2018, so maybe getting the upgraded version would be able to solve some of these problems, but I'm an everyday dad. I have to balance my budget somewhere. Yes, I have a budget for the channel, but I can't like, if it's not gonna work, I'm not gonna, you know, I cannot personally, as an adult that's trying to teach my son how to manage money, I can't spend this kind of money if it's not working. I can spend money if it's working. If it's not working, I can't. So I am gonna be getting rid of this, and it's, I mean, I'm gonna go from one Mac to another because I found a fantastic deal on a 2016 MacBook Pro during Prime Day that has a lot of the equivalent specs for $800 less. So I'll be going with that one, and that savings will let me keep my live streaming laptop in case the other MacBook, you know, th maybe not due to throttling issues, but just because it's slower, won't be able to work that way. But for the price savings, I can save all my gear then. Thanks for watching.